It is August 3, 1984, the Los Angeles Olympics. 36 women are competing for the individual all-around gymnastics title. The dominant Romanian women, who just two days earlier won the team title, are favored in the individual all-around competition. The United States, which earlier won the silver medal in the team event, is represented by three women. Among them, 16-year-old Mary Lou Retton. Mary Lou Retton is a new breed of gymnast, athletic and muscular. She has little experience with the pressures of a major international event and almost missed an opportunity to compete here due to knee surgery just six weeks earlier. The head coach of the American women's team is Don Peters. Also at the competition is the legendary coach Bella Caroli. Bella Caroli was Nadia Comaneci's coach and now trains several top Americans, including Mary Lou Retton. Bella Caroli is here in no official capacity. Good job, good job. That's a 10. There is no question about. That's a 10. It's gotta be the 10. That's gotta be. Gotta be. There are four events contested in the individual all around competition. Balance beam. Vault. Floor exercise. And uneven bars. Going into the final apparatus, Mary Lou Retton is five one hundredths of a point behind Ekaterina Zabo of Romania. Zabo gives another solid performance. She is awarded a 9.9. .9. The situation is now clear. Zabo's final score has now been determined. If Retton scores a perfect 10 on the vault, the gold medal is hers. If she gets a 9.95, she and Ekaterina Zabo will share the gold medal. If Retton scores anything less than a 9.95, the gold medal will belong to Zabo. To feel the landing, okay? Mary Lou. Never better, okay? The best, the best what you can walk, all right? I wanna see you now, now or never, okay? gymnast has ever done. She has won an Olympic gold medal. Mary Lou Retton, who displayed the energy to go further while becoming the greatest female gymnast in American history.